and welcome to my channel PCM Tricks. Today I'll be explaining you how to find the value of certain trigonometric ratios with respect to certain angles using the graph given here. Come on, let's start. So, in this graph, we have a circle which intersects the x axis and y axis at certain coordinates that is uh, 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 1 so at this point the value of a that is the value of abscissa and ordinate is 1 comma 0 and at the point b it is 0 comma 1 c it is minus 1 comma 0 and at the point d it is 0 comma minus 1 we know that this angle that is if there is one more line if the two lines overlap the angle between those two lines will be 0 degree so at the point a the value of um, ordinate is 0 whereas the value of abscissa is 1 and the angle is 0 degree A actually there is one rule that the value of abscissa is nothing but the value of cos theta and the value of ordinate that is y is nothing but the value of sin theta okay so now let's calculate the value of trigonometric ratios for zero degree zero degrees along this line as i told you okay so here sine zero degree which is same as the value of the ordinate that is value of y here value of y is zero therefore sine zero degree is also zero next cos zero degree cos zero degree is same as the value of uh, what is this abscissa the value of abscissa at the point a is 1 therefore cos 0 degree is 1 we know tan 0 is nothing but sin 0 by cos 0 therefore 0 by 1 is nothing but 0 itself and cosecant 0 degree it is nothing but reciprocal of sine. reciprocal of 0 is 1 by 0 which is not defined and secant 0 is again reciprocal of cos 0 which is 1 reciprocal of 1 is 1 itself and again cos 0 degree is reciprocal of tan 0 degree reciprocal of tan 0 degree is I mean tan 0 degree which is 0 is not defined ok next let's calculate the value of trigonometric ratios with respect to angle 90 degree so this is the angle 90 degree here that is the angle between positive x axis and positive y axis is 90 degree so we have to find the values at point B so first sine 90 degree is same as the value of ordinate here that is value of um, ordinate along positive y axis at B. So it is 1 therefore sine 90 degree is also 1. Next cos 90 degree value of abscissa at the point B value of abscissa at point B is 0 therefore sine 90 degree I mean sorry cos 90 degree is 0 tan 90 degree sin 90 by cos 90 which is nothing but 1 by 0 it is not defined <coughs> again cosecant 90 degree is nothing but reciprocal of sin 90 degree which is reciprocal of 1 and it is 1 itself next secant 90 degree is reciprocal of cos 90 degree so reciprocal of 0 is not defined next last cot 90 degree cot 90 degree is reciprocal of tan 90 degree actually tan 90 degree is not defined but what was the value of tan 90 degree 1 by 0 if you take reciprocal of 1 by 0 it will be 0 by 1 see reciprocal of 1 by 0 will be 0 by 1 therefore the value of cot 90 degree is 0 by 1 which is nothing but 0 next let's find the value of uh, trigonometric ratios with respect to the angle 180 degree this whole entire angle that is the angle between positive x axis and negative x axis is 180 degree so we have to find the value at the point c okay so let's start sin 180 degree is nothing but the value of ordinate at point c that is 0 here therefore sin 180 degree is 0 and cos 180 degree is the value of abscissa at the point c which is nothing but minus 1 so cos 180 is minus 1 next um, tan 180 degree is nothing but sin 180 by 
cos 180. So, it is 0 by minus 1, 0 by any number is not defined, therefore, it is again 0. Next, cosecant 180 degree is reciprocal of sin 180 degree. So, what is reciprocal of 0? It is not defined. Therefore, cosecant 180 is not defined. Next, a co I mean secant 180 degree is reciprocal of cos 180 degree. Reciprocal of minus 1 is again minus 1 itself. Next, cot 180 degree reciprocal of tan 180. Therefore, reciprocal of 0 is again not defined. Next, let us find the value of the trigonometric ratios with respect to the angle 270 degree. So, the angle between positive x axis and negative y axis is 270 degree. So, we have to find the value of the trigonometric ratios using the value at the point t that is 0 comma minus 1. So, sin 270 degree is same as the value of ordinate at the point d that is minus 1. So, sin 270 is minus 1. Cos 270 is the same, is same as the value of uh, axis at point d that is 0. So, cos 270 is 0. Tan, two, I mean tan 270 degree is nothing but sin 270 by cos 270 which is minus 1 by 0 which is again not defined. And cosecant 270 degree reciprocal of sin 270 reciprocal of minus 1 is again minus 1. Secant 270 degree is a reciprocal of cos 270 degree which is again a reciprocal of 0 is not defined. And then tan 270 degree I mean sorry cot 270 degree is reciprocal of tan 270 degree it is not defined means minus 1 by 0 reciprocal of minus 1 by 0 is 0 by minus 1 which is nothing but 0. So, value is 0. It is the last angle that is 360 degree. We will find the value of trigonometric ratios with respect to the angle 360 degree. So, here 360 degree is nothing but starting from x axis I mean positive x axis going in anti clockwise direction and again back to x axis this whole angle is 360 degree. So, again we have to consider the same point as 0 degree. So, the value of any trigonometric ratio with respect to angle 0 degree and 360 degree remains the same because we will calculate both the values at point A. So, sin 360 degree is nothing but the value of the ordinate at the point A that is 0 which is same as the value of sin 0 degree cos 360 the same as the value of axis at the point A which is 1. So, cos 360 is 1 which is again same as cos 0 and tan 360 is nothing but sin 360 by cos 360 0 by 1 it is 0 and tan 360 is also same as the value of tan 0 degree. Next cosecant 360 reciprocal of sin 360 which is reciprocal of 0 and it is not defined cosecant 360 is equal to cosecant 0 degree. So, here we will go in a reverse method for these two secant 360 degree is equal to secant 0 degree. So, let us consider secant 360 to be equal to I mean it is not considered it is actually equal to secant 0 degree and it is 1. So, value of secant 360 is also 1 and therefore, again we will go in this again we will go in this method secant 360 reciprocal of cos 360 reciprocal of 1 is nothing but 1 itself again cot 360 equal to cot 0 it is not defined same way reciprocal of tan 360 is reciprocal of 0 which is 1 by 0 not defined. So, if we verify both means the same. So, this is the entire video for solving trigonometric ratios with respect to certain angle using a graph method. If you like my video, please do click on the like button and to get more such interesting videos, do not forget to subscribe to my channel PCM Tricks. Thank you.